All right, this is a 2002 Arbusa. Uh, I know it's too bright maybe or too dark because it might be falling into shadows and stuff. This is the battery upgrade. It was actually pretty simple on the negative side because it just goes, just with one piece that goes right from here. It loops just to give it slack so you're not pulling, uh, pulling on the connection. It goes under the tank and somewhere around, around about, if I can find my hand, somewhere around about here, inside, it just grounds. So it's just one, almost the same as this pretty much. That was easy. Now on the positive side, uh, sorry for the shadows and stuff, hope this comes out alright. But on the positive side, uh, because these clamps are much better than better than these clamps, which you get like in the audio place or whatever, I went with uh, reusing the factory one. So it didn't come out awesome. But it is connected and I figure it's going to give the biggest surface area contact to the top of the battery. So, there you go, top of the battery where it would connect. Gives you more surface area as opposed to just, you know, that little ring. Anyway, so that's that. Now that the battery positive line loops around here and then connects too bright connects to this line here that line is the actual um, positive line this is the starter relay I'll try to get it onto the sunlight that's a starter relay so both of those wires that you see there one and two are actually both positive that's like when you know when they're your old school uh, jump to your starter relay with screwdriver across the post that's what that that's what that is there so I'm gonna do this piece here I'll do it and I'll come back to the video after uh, I made that first piece which is gonna go from the battery to the first part here it's pretty short so I'll be back in a couple of minutes okay so this is that is the uh, contact point or Whatever you want to call it that connects to the starter relay which is that little box down there let me bring it up into the sunlight what I ended up doing is because it was it's so small and tight I probably could have got away with using it too but I figured it was it's comparative to the same uh, to the con you know the fancier contacts the newer ones so I wired that and it just tucks under here comes back this way and then loops again and that will be the uh, the first half of the positive line to the starter relay. So you can see the uh, second wire. I'm doing a couple of seconds. I'm not using anything fancy. Yeah, you know that's a great looking fancy connection, and it's all whatever, whatever. But oh, another thing I just want to compare. I don't know what the stock wiring is but let's give you an idea the, uh, the upgraded line to that's all uh, this one is four and that one there is whatever the factory is as somebody said online it's like seven or eight so hopefully this is going to resolve my issue people are talking about upgrading batteries and all this other stuff my only reason why I'm doing this is because when the when everything is hot um, if I stop for whatever reason, let's say I stop at a drive-thru or something, and uh, you go to start it up, it, it won't start. It acts as if the battery's dead. Apparently, it's not getting enough electricity through these wires when they're hot. So, somebody said go to the fatter wire, and uh, even when they're hot, the resistance will be not as dramatic, and it should be able to get, get going without having to let the wires cool down and all that stuff. Plus, it looks cool looks monstrous so there's other reasons people say it about the battery if you're upgrading battery it gives you more uh, cranking amps and all that other stuff but that was my issue and it's not really hard to do so 
That's my reason for doing it. And here's my my fancy top of the line crimping tool. So do it however you want to do it. I saw a bunch of videos on there and how to whatever whatever. This is the um, the pieces that I'm using. They're, they're decent thickness, and they have the, uh, the little sleeve for uh, insulation and stuff. Even though I noticed, strangely enough, if I can find the second, okay, on the uh, jumper cables, I mean on the uh, starter relay, there's no sleeve. It's just kind of just out there, just like that, you know. So I guess because there's plastic here, or whatever, there's no threat of anything you know making contact with it but I just thought it was interesting on mine I did put the uh, the red sleeve on there to give it a little protection in case it needs it for whatever reason hopefully it doesn't I guess if the geniuses at Suzuki decided that this didn't need a cover on it that should be fine anyway so so that's the first half plus the other uh, ground the negative and now I'm gonna be doing the the second line which is still stock there and that's going to go directly to the starter. I'm going to have to uh, lift up the gas tank. It's actually pretty simple. It's like a straight route. It's not, not uh, snaked all over the damn place. But, um, okay. I guess that will be in the next part. Let me, uh, I'm going to try to do one wire so you can see. One thing that I did do was kind of line these up to see how they're going to, how it's going to fall. So that I'm not twisting the wire while I'm, you know, at the contact points. So I kind of set it up and then figured where the contact point would be, and then I set it. I I mounted the contact point to the wire, you know, without stressing the cable. In other words, the cable wants to be this way, so I put the contact point in line with it, as opposed to the cable wanting to be this way after snaking around and everything. And then I put the contact point to this at an angle or something, and now it's going to be stressed with the heat and all that other stuff. So. Just something to keep in mind. I don't know how great of a thought that was, but I figured it couldn't hurt and it kind of makes sense. Something else to think of while you're working on this. Uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Now that I have the gas tank off, I could, oh, well, not off, but up and out the way, I can show you the negative, how easy it was. It's the negative line right there. It just loops and goes under here. And you can see it over here. There's a factory mounting spot. I just used that same spot with a wire tie. And it just goes right to that ground. I don't know how well you can see it. It's right to a ground spot right there. So it's not tricky, it's not hard, it's not complicated. Probably the most important thing out of all of this thing is the uh, your connections. Make sure your connections are as solid as you can make them. But that's the negative side. So the positive goes to the top of the starter right here. That's oh, so, that's a better view of the negative contact point. So this is your starter, which is the uh, well, top of the starter anyway. And that's your contact point for your positive line, which goes to the starter. So look out! Shouldn't be too much of a hassle. After I snake it out, I'll let you guys see what happened. Okay, I wanted to show you in there. This is the ugly side of the bike, as everybody calls. In there, on the uh, hold on. life in the city includes noise. I found this, which was um, keeping the wires a little nicer together. And I just wanted to mention that. I was gonna snip it until I realized this little tang right there. This is actually one of those removable, reusable uh, zip ties. So don't split it. Don't don't uh, clip it off because you can reuse this. It's the same one. It was uh, somewhere around there. Let me show you from the other side. Uh, from the pretty side, as we say. So somewhere around here, more or less, was this zip tie. So after I route everything again, I'll. I'll uh, reuse it and see where's a good spot to put it on. I just wanted to show you guys that not to cut this one off because you don't you don't need to cut it. Okay? And I'll get back to it in a second. Here's another precaution. Because they're so close together, and I know the factory didn't have uh, rubber 
covers on them so there were basically two exposed points if for some reason you don't have it tight enough or they bend or they jiggle or they wiggle or whatever the hell and they make contact with each other the starter is going to kick in so if you're riding a bike it might be a bad day for you so here's a reason why this uh, rubber sleeve is good also be careful when you when you do tighten them down tighten those bolts down I don't know if I, well you can see them the two bolts the bolts on the top when you do tighten the two bolts down make sure that these uh, you kind of preset them a little far apart from each other so that there's no chance of them jiggling around and even though they're insulated you know it's just a precaution years ago I burned out a starter like that on a car <laughs> and uh, expensive way uh, I already showed you guys the route and right, now I'm gonna I did this one connection already which is gonna go on the uh, piece that I just showed you and then I'm gonna snake it through through over here under the tank follow, follow the uh, more or less the same loom where it was and then set up decide where how I want the other end to go and then splice that one on so that's it for now be right back thought I'd show you uh, this is that second let me see if I can see it. This is the second line I just removed off the, uh, the starter relay. just want to show you the current route that it's taking. It's nothing fancy or complicated. That's uh, the chunk of tape. It's actually that same mounting point. Let me do it from the other side. It's the same mounting point as uh, the negative. I'll show you from the better from the other side. See here. I just use it's kind of like just a sled that's clipped into the frame here so it's the same on the other side over there so it's already actually there you go I already unclipped it well I pulled it off the tape so you get a better view of that see if you can see that there it's spinning so your little wire tie on this side wire tie on that side locks it in place there somebody had it with just tape I don't know why but a uh, white tire work better. So this is the positive. It's not, you know, spaghetti into anything. Pain in the ass, complicated. And it's gonna go nice and smooth. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that, and I'll be right back. Okay. I just took off the uh, the cable off the top of the positive cable off the top of the starter there. And um, you're always worried about washers and lock washers or whatever the hell falling off. This one actually has none. There's a lock washer built into built into the uh, the nut itself. Let me see if I can. Uh, it's bright, so it's, the camera's not doing the greatest job going from the shadow to dark. But anyway, just thought you might want to know. Ease your nerves a little bit. There's no uh, washer to be concerned with. When you're taking this off, it's uh, right there on, on the uh, on the nut, built into it, so it won't fall off. So here's my cable, and now I'm just gonna pull it through, snake the other one in in place, and I'll show you what that looks like.